So uh, now we're looking at the second problem in problem set one. Again, it's a first order differential equation, as you can see here, but in this case, it's non-homogeneous, meaning that it has a forcing function, and it is the forcing function is here on the right-hand side. It's 2t, and I want you to start thinking about what this physically means. So we have a function that is uh, proportional to time going by. So this is what we call a ramp function. As time goes by, so this, this um, function increases linearly, and it has a coefficient of 2. Uh, again, there's a single initial condition, and it is uh, the z, the dependent variable, is equal to 1 at times t equal to 0. So now if we go over to uh, my handwritten solutions, again, I start out with this uh, handwritten rec recapitulation of the problem. And we start with a particular solution. Since this is a non-homogeneous uh, equation, we have particular and homogeneous solutions. We'll see that since the forcing function is 2t, that's a polynomial in time, then the particular solution will also be a polynomial containing that term and any derivatives, any non-zero derivatives of that term. So since this is a linear first order polynomial, we only have two terms, uh, another t term and a constant term. So we have the particular solution is of the form a1t plus a0. And we're going to substitute that into the differential equation. So we have to find its derivative, which is just a1. So now we substitute those two functions into the original differential equation and solve for a1 and a0. So there's that substitution, and now I've gathered them along the terms of the polynomial in time. So there's a single term uh, in front of t, and, a, and this combination of terms becomes the constant. And we compare that to the polynomial that is the forcing function. So we see that 10a1 is the coefficient of t has to be the same as 2. And then these terms gathered here uh, on the constant have to be equal 0. So we have two equations, two unknowns, but they're somewhat decoupled. We can find a1 directly as 2 tenths, plug that into the second equation, and we get minus 1 tenth. So we've now solved the particular solution, and it is uh, 2 tenths t minus 1 tenth. Okay, so uh, now we jump to the characteristic equation. 5d plus 10 equals 0. Uh, that quickly solves to the root, the single root of the characteristic equation is minus 2, meaning that zh, the homogeneous solution, is c1e to the minus 2t. Um, my apologies for the scrawl there. It almost looks like a 7, but that's supposed to be a 2 in the, in the uh, exponential. Now the next step, the third step we have is combine the homogeneous and particular solutions. So the total solution, z of t, is c1 e to the minus 2t plus 2 tenths t minus 1 tenth. We apply the initial condition at evaluate that total solution z of t at time t equals 0. We're only left with um, c1 and 1 tenth. The 2 tenths drops out. The exponential goes to 1. c minus 1 tenth equals 1, which uh, translates to c is equal to c1 is equal to 11 tenths. And we combine all those back together, and we have the uh, total solution of the difference equation, 11 tenths e to the minus 2t plus 2 tenths t minus 1 tenth. And that is the answer.